Okay, Faisal. So, my next question will be, uh, student in general think that uh, in organic chemistry there is a lot of mugging involved. You have to mug all the reaction reagent and they generally tend to leave the whole syllabus and whole, uh, whole part of organic chemistry of J uh, to do it the very last moment or very last few days. So is this approach all right or wrong? Uh, no, no, no. Mugging in organic chemistry would be futile. And to leave organic to the fag end of your preparation, thinking that there you will mug things up and vomit in the examination paper will be a self debilitating task. You shouldn't do it. Organic chemistry is the subject which has to be stunted at the right at the beginning of your preparation because it has applications in other branches of chemistry. For example, in physical chemistry, when you study a chapter of chemical kinetics where they teach you about transition state and they teach you about stability of transition state, which you understand once you are very clear with the basics of organic. When you move on to ionic equilibrium, they tell you what is strong acid, what is weak acid, what is hydrolysis, why do they happen, the whole phenomena you understand when you have a good understanding of organic chemistry. When you move on to electrochemistry, they teach you about production potential, or ionization potential, which one, which chemical has higher, which chemical has lower. The understanding of the, that is rooted in organic chemistry. When you move on to salt analysis, when you move on to coordination chemistry, those things in, of the orbitals, they all come from organic chemistry. So to leave it at the fag end of your preparation is not, is not recommended. It's not desirable. That shouldn't be done. So you have to start organic at right at the beginning of your syllabus. In fact, organic is the first stage, first step that you should take in your chemistry learning when you move at the end of the class 11th or you move when you move to class 12th. So that's one thing. You shouldn't leave it to the end because you will lose. You will lose everything in chemistry if you leave it till the end. Now, secondly, marking is not required. As I told you before, Keshav, and I'm telling again to your viewers, Mugging is not required in organic. And if you try and approach the subject via mugging, then that is actually self-defeating kind of thing. The organic is very logical. It's a very subject of full of reasoning. There are certain sets of rules, like we have in maths and physics, and rest of the thing comes very naturally from it. Organic is at par with maths and physics on that front. There are certain things that you have to learn initially, and rest of Everything, all the reactions, everything that you learn in every chapter, that is basically the application of that. So there would be certain things in certain books, you will not find the right way of learning. Like if you, if you, if you read NCRT book, you may see there just the reactant, reagent, and product, and the mechanism of that would be the same. So you may be tempted to think that this is something that we have to mug up. But that is not the right approach to study the subject. There is nothing that is to be mugged up. What you have to do is you have to build up a good foundation of basic things in organic. And based on that, everything will be built up automatically. Things will come out naturally. You will understand things very innately. So mugging is not required. If you think that you have to mug organic, you are wrong actually on that. This subject does not require any mugging. It's a pure understanding based subject. 